myself arthur clive assistant professor department of mechanical engineering akshaya college of engineering and technology so in this video we are going to see about sand mold so sand mold what is sand mold sand mold is a metal equipment casting method that provides a desired desired shapes to the end product by pouring molten steel or any other metal into a sand mold and it is make them to allow to solidify in the atmospheric temperature conditions so the product produced by sand molding are made in specialized factories known as foundries so that is the casting method so most of the foundries they are producing the castings so it is a sand molding it is made up of the specialized factories so what is the name of the fa specialized factories that is known as the foundries next we are going to see about what are the components used for making a mold cavity what are the components used for making a mold cavity so here we can see first one is the molding box so molding box is also called molding flask okay it is the frame or box sometimes it is made up of wood or metal so mostly this box is made with the help of wood material only why it is made with wood so it is cheaper so and boxes can be made quickly so wood wears out quickly so it is destroyed by contact with hot metal so metal box is mostly made with the help of the steels for the process so we can see drag and cope so drag box is in lower side and co box is in upper side so top box is always known as core box co box and bottom box is also known as a drag box so these two box are aligned with the help of the aligning pin so lug is used for lifting this box so this is the use of the molding box so inside the molding box the pattern should be kept so above that pattern the sand will be splashed out okay with the help of the ramming so it is filled it is filled with the sand next we can see the molding board so what is the use of the molding board we should keep this molding box on the molding board so that is use of the molding board why we are using this molding board for example when we are using the ramming of the pattern in the drag box what will happen if the level of the floor level of the drag box if it is not in uniform so there will be some of the mismatch in order to avoid this we are using this molding board next we can see shovel so it is one of the tool used for mixing and tempering molding sand it is used for carrying the molding sand from the sand pit or pile to the molding box next we can see the riddle so what is the riddle it is the metal screen used for removing foreign metal such as stones nails etc so from the molding sand it has a circular or square wooden frame with a wire mesh at the bottom next we can see this rammer so it is also one of the tool for packing and ramming the molding sand in the molding box it is normally made of wood or cast iron rammer has got two ends one end is always wedge shaped and it is known as pin 
the other end is always cylindrical in shape and it is known as butt end pin end may have different shapes so this is the use of the rammer next we can see travels so it is a metal blade with a wooden handle it is used to smooth and the surface of the mold it is also used to repair the damaged portions of the mold the shape of the blade is usually rectangular and has round or square end slick so it is a we can see it is a double ender tool it is used for repairing and finishing small surface and round corners of the mold next we can see about lifter so it is used to clean and finish the opening of deep molds it is also used to repair broken surfaces of the mold it is made of steel or various widths and lengths next we can see about the strike of bar most it is made up of wood it has a straight edge it is used to strike off extensive sand from the mold after ramming sprue pin we can see that sprue pin so it is a type of cylindrical wooden be wooden piece it is used for making a sprue hole in a, in the mold the size of the sprue pin depends upon the size of the mold okay so we can see so these are all components used for making a mold cavity next we are going to see about molding so last video we have seen something basic about this mold so we can see detailed one by one so here we can see first one is the pattern so what is the pattern so pattern is a model of the object so here the pattern is the model of the object so it is embedded in the molding sand and suitable ramming of the molding sand around the pattern is made so the pattern is then withdrawn from generating cavity that is from the mold from the molding sand that it is mold forming tool so pattern is one of the mold forming tool pattern can be set as a model or the object to be cast except for the various allowances of the pattern exactly casting to be made so it is a mold cavity is made with the help of the pattern so this is the use of the pattern in separate topic we are going to see about what are the types of patterns so what are the materials that we are using to make patterns on what are the allowances to be made made in the patterns okay we can see detail in next video Okay, next we can go to parting line so what is parting line so in this mold we can see the parting line so this is the parting line so below there is a drag box above there is a cope box so in between drag box and cope box there is a parting line you can find in this diagram it is at center so we can say parting line so this is the dividing line between the two molding flask that makes up the mold so it is dividing line between the two molding flask so flask is nothing but 
boxes co box and track box next we can see molding sand so molding sand is one of the important material for molding so sand which binds strongly without losing it permanently to air or gases so what is the molding sand it is a mixture of silica sand clay and moisture in appropriate proportions so by this mixing mixture of the silica sand clay and moisture in certain ratio the molding sand is formed so there are very various types of the molding sand for example natural sand synthetic sand and special sands are using in the foundries so what is na the natural sand is nothing but the green sand it is also called the green sand synthetic sand and special sands are used to make mold next we are going to see about facing sand so what is facing sand so facing sand the small amount of the carbonaceous material sprinkled on the inner surface of the mold cavity to give a better surface finish to the casting so facing sand is only applied on the faces of the pattern for example for any pattern when we are keeping drag box inside the drag box or co box so after keeping the pattern inside the box we have to apply this facing sand on the surface of the pattern in order to give better surface finish so what will happen when we are removing after making a mold we have to remove the pattern we have to remove the pattern if we are removing the pattern so while we are seeing inside the cavity the surface will be smooth for that purpose only we are applying the facing sand next we are going to see about core so core in this diagram we are seeing about core so this is the core so what is the core a separate part of the mold so core is one of the separate part of the mold made of sand and generally baked with it used to create opening and various shape cavities in the castings so it is used to create the opening for example we in this diagram we need some of the opening in between that is co box and drag box so when we are providing this mold when we are providing this core in the mold so after pouring the metal into the molten cavity what will happen the core portions remain hollow so after filling after solidifying finally when we have break out that mold what will happen we can find that inside there is a vacuum there is a hole so for that purpose only we are using for this core next we are going to to see about the pouring basin so pouring basin it is small funnel shaped cavity at the top of the mold into which the molten material is poured you see here this is the pouring basin top so it is just like a funnel okay so in that pouring basin only we are pouring the molten metals next we are coming to the sprue 
so what is use of the spro so this is the passage to with the which the molten material from the pouring basin reaches the mold cavity okay mold cavity in many cases it controls the flow of the metal into the mold so this is use of the sprue next we are going to see about runner next we are going to see about runner gate shaft plant okay we can see one by one so here is the runner so where you find the runner see pouring basin sprue from the sprue we can found the runner so what is the use of the runner so it is a channel through which the molten metal is carried from the sprue to the gate sprue to the gate that is the uses of the runner okay sprue to the gate from the gate there is a runner next we are going to see about gate so what is the gate a channel through which the molten material enters the mold cavity okay a channel through which the molten metal enters the mold cavity that is known as the gate next chaplet so what is the use of the chaplet we have discussed already that is chaplet are used to support the course inside the mold cavity to take care of its own weight okay so chaplet is one of used for support the course inside the mold cavity next we are going to see about runner here where is the runner so this is the runner so runner what is the use of the runner channel through which the molten material is carried from the sprue to the gate okay next riser so what is the use of the riser see here we can find open riser okay two risers are we can find two risers that is the blind riser and the open riser so what is the use of the riser so a column of the molten metal placed in the mold to feed the casting as it shrink and solidifies also known as feed head so what will happen when we are pouring through a board pouring basin so when we are pouring the molten metal to the boring basin what will happen it runs to the run, uh, runner in gate so it reaches the main cavity so after filling of the main cavity what will happen the molten metal will rise through the open riser okay it will come out to the open riser then only we can find okay the full of the main cavity is filled with the molten metal okay without open riser we can't find so whether it is filled or not so this is the use of the riser so next we can find vent so what is the vent through the gases which is present inside the mold cavity through the vent what will happen it is a small opening the mold of the facility escape the as and the gases through that hole it escapes the as and gases this is the use of, of the vent okay so we know you know about what is the pattern potting line molding slant facing sand core pouring basin sprue runner gate chaplet riser vent okay so in next video we can see with different topic thank you